Hi, in this video I'll be talking about gradients of lines and how we can measure gradients of lines. First of all though, what is a gradient? Well, a gradient is a slope. And slopes can be positive and slopes can also be negative. So, this line over here would have a positive slope. On the other hand, this line over here would have a negative slope. So, the red line would have a positive slope and the blue line would have a negative slope. Now, slopes on lines can be steep and sometimes they can almost be flat. So, the slope on this line isn't as steep as the slope on the red line. Now, if we have a straight horizontal line like this one, it has no slope. And if we have a straight vertical line like this one, it also has no slope. So this straight horizontal line would have a gradient of zero and this straight vertical line would have a gradient of zero. Now in algebra we say that lines have the equation of the form y equals m multiplied by x plus a constant. Now, this m that you see in this equation right here, actually stands for gradient. Let me plot a few lines so that you can understand why lines have this equation. So, Let's say we have the line y equals 2x, right? When x is minus 2, y is minus 4. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 0, y is 0. From this information here, we can create some coordinates. The coordinate minus 2, minus 4, the coordinate 2, 4, and the coordinate 0, 0. So let's plot these points on this coordinate axis here. So we've got 0, 0, we've got 2, and then 4, and then we've got minus 2 and then minus 4. So the line y equals 2x would look something like this if we were to draw it accurately. So let's write y equals 2x here. As you can see, the m in this equation is 2 and m is greater than 0. That is why the slope of this line here is positive. Now let's draw the line y equals minus 2x. When x is 2, y equals minus 4. When x is minus 2, y equals 4. And when x is 0, y equals 0. So we get the coordinates 2 minus 4, minus 2, 4, and 0, 0. Let's plot these points on this coordinate system. So we get 2 minus 4, we get 0, 0, 
and we get minus 2, 4. If we join these points together, we get a line that looks like this. Now let's write y equals minus 2x here. As you can see, the m for this line equals minus 2, and m is less than 0. That is why the slope of this line here is negative. Now, you may be wondering where the constants went in both of these equations. These constants didn't go anywhere because in fact they were 0. So y equals 2x plus 0 for this line here. And y equals minus 2x plus 0 for this blue line over here. The constant in both equations is 0. So whenever you get a line such as y equals 2x, you should know that there's an invisible 0 lying around in that equation. Okay, let's talk a little about straight lines. This straight horizontal line over here. This straight horizontal line could be y equals 1. So at every point on this line, y equals 1. So we don't really have to talk about x in this scenario. Let's draw another straight line. This straight vertical line could be x equals 1 because at every point on this line x is 1. So we don't really have to talk about y because x is 1 at every point on this vertical line. So in both of these cases when x is just 1 and when y is just 1 we don't really have to talk about gradients. m is 0 in both cases. So, we've spoken about what gradients are, their slopes, and we've spoken about lines, how lines can have positive slopes and negative slopes, or no slopes at all. Now, let's find out how to measure slopes. Alright, so let's use y equals 2x as an example. And let's say that x is equal or greater than 0 or less than or equal to 3. Now when x is 0 y is 0 so we get the coordinates 0 0. When x is 1 y equals 2 so we get the coordinates 1 2. When x is 2, y is 4. So we get the coordinates 2, 4. When x is 3, y equals 6. So we get the coordinates 3, 6. Let's plot these coordinates on this graph here. So 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 6. Let's join these points together. Now this line is y equals 2x. And x is greater or equal to 0, or less than or equal to 3. Okay, so let's say you want to find the gradient of this line here. Well, the equation for the gradient is m equals change in y over change in x. But what is change in y? And what is change in x? Well, change in y is y2 minus y1. And change in x is x2 minus x1. So the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now I'm going to call the point 1, 2, x1, 
y1 and I'm going to call the point 2 4 x2 y2 now I'm going to create a right angle triangle using the line and a vertical line and a horizontal line so here we've got a right angled triangle this adjacent length is actually change in x and this opposite height is actually change in y now we know that y2 is 4 and we know that y1 is 2 we also know that x2 is 2 and x1 is 1 so the gradient, which is m, is change in y over change in x. But y2 is 4, and y1 is 2, and x2 is 2, and x1 is 1. So the gradient in this case would be 4 minus 2, which is 2, over 2 minus 1 which is 1. So the gradient must be equal to 2. But we already know this as we know that the line is y equals 2x. So using this equation here or this formula we've confirmed that the gradient is 2. Now when you're dealing with straight lines the gradient can only be one thing so in this case the gradient is 2 as we're dealing with the line y equals 2x but when we're dealing with curves right the gradient of the curve is different at different points and for this we differentiate anyway I hope I've explained to you well what gradients are and how you can measure gradients thank you for watching this video